We're going to demonstrate our two component polyurethane traffic sealant known as Dynatred, as well as some self leveling or pourable traffic sealant. So, in the traffic sealant world, you have primarily self leveling or pourable type sealants, right? So, any traffic sealant would obviously be any type of uh, walkway or vehicular application, parking decks, parking lots, uh, sidewalks, and so on. Anywhere you have foot traffic or vehicular traffic, plaza decks, courthouses, and so on, you're going to want to use a traffic grade sealant. Now, the difference between traffic grade sealants and architectural sealants generally is that traffic grade sealants have a higher hardness, higher abrasion resistance, puncture resistance, and so on. Any type of sealant that you install in a traffic joint, you want it to be durable, robust type of sealant. So if you're installing a traffic sealant, say a plaza deck, for example, you have women in high heels, you want a stiff, rigid type sealant to where women are not walking on the sealant, puncturing the sealant with a high heel, you know, and twisting an ankle and so on. So the point is you want a durable, tough sealant for those traffic grade applications. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate our two component polyurethane, the Dynatred traffic grade sealant. Uh, we're going to mix up the unit and then we're going to apply some in a horizontal joint here. Glenn's going to go ahead and pop open the pail here. It's a 1.5 gallon unit of the Dynatred, again, two component traffic grade sealant. So of course with any two component sealant, right, you have part A and part B, which you have to mix together. So you open the, the container and you have a separate container inside, which is a pre-measured uh, volume of activator or catalyst, usually known as the part A and the base is part B. So you see you have a plastic in there, you're gonna simply remove that plastic. And you also notice the material is untinted, it's just a neutral color. You're going to be adding a color pack to the material as well. This particular product, you can tint to over 50 standard colors. So Glenn's gonna pop or cut open that color pack. You're gonna use the entire contents of the color pack. We recommend one color pack per pail. Make sure you squeeze out all the contents. You wanna ensure you have color uniformity between pails. So next step, you see the activator. It's almost like a molasses honey consistency. You're gonna pour the entire contents of the activator into the pail, into the base. You want to scrape it out. You want to get all that activator out of that pail into the base portion. So the next step is mixing. Okay, so you're going to want to use a heavy-duty half-inch variable speed drill. Okay, this, these materials are fairly viscous. It's going to take a heavy-duty drill to mix these materials. Glenn's going to go ahead. We're going to do a six-minute mix, right? We're going to mix for three minutes, stop, scrape down the pail, mix for an additional three minutes, and you're good to go, okay? So start off slow. That's what you wanna use a variable speed drill. You wanna start off slow. If you start off too fast, you can splash the activator or the color paste up out of the pail. And obviously you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep it off your legs and everybody around you. So Glenn's scraping down the pail. Again, the reason you do this, you wanna get any residual colorant or activator off the sides or the bottom of the pail. Make sure you incorporate that, fold that into the mix. We're gonna mix again for another three minutes. And then we're gonna extrude this sealant with a bulk caulking gun. There's really no other way to apply this sealant other than a bulk caulking gun. So if you're not familiar with bulk caulking guns, we'll show you how to use one. It's basically a large syringe that you suck the material up into the gun, screw your nozzle on, extrude the sealant into your joint. Once the bolt caulking gun is empty, simply refill it and continue on. Now, one thing I didn't mention about two component sealants is there's a pot life. As soon as you mix the activator into the base portion, the clock starts ticking. So with these sealants, generally you have about two to four hours to apply the sealant. If you go beyond two to four hours, the sealant will build viscosity as it cures and it'll be very difficult to suck up into the bulk caulking gun. So just keep that in mind. Once you incorporate the activator into the base portion, you're on the clock. You have about two to four hours, depending on the material. Keep in mind, the hotter it is outside, the faster material is gonna skin in your pail. So we recommend not leaving the pail sitting out in direct sunlight on a 100 degree day. 
keep it in the shade. Some guys go as far as to keep the pails on ice to slow down the chemical reaction so they don't waste any material. All right, so Glenn's doing the second half of the mixing here. You know, additional three minutes of mixing. Use a timer, don't guess. You want a six minute total mix. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how the bulk caulking gun works here in a moment. Some of the uh, equipment manufacturers also sell these loading sleeves, which basically help keep the end of the gun clean you know, when uh, it's sucking up the material into the gun. Okay, so here's the sleeve, Glenn. So you simply just put the sleeve in the pail. Glenn's gonna bang it down just to get any air out of there and settle the material. So you put the sleeve in the material, pretty straightforward. Take your bolt caulking gun, load it into the sleeve. Some guys will lubricate the gun beforehand with mineral spirits. You're gonna to wanna to use mineral spirits to clean up. When you're done with your bulk caulking gun at the end of your workday, you wanna clean the gun. Do not leave the sealant in the gun. It will cure up in the gun and your gun will be trash. So make sure you're using mineral spirits, xylene. You could even use alcohol to clean the gun. Point is, make sure you clean up your equipment at the end of the day. All right, so you saw Glenn Sucking up the material into the gun, like I said, it's basically like a large syringe. So you screw your nozzle on and you do your caulking. It's that simple. As soon as it's empty, you refill it and you continue on. So we have some mock joints here. I think they're half inch joints. Of course, there's backer rod in the joint. You're always going to want to use a foam backer rod to control sealant depth. And you're also going to want to use a foam backer rod, especially when you're using a self-leveling product like we'll demonstrate next. If you don't use a tight, compressed backer rod when using pourable sealant, the sealant will flow past the backer rod, you know, and it'll seep past the backer rod and into the joint. All right, so we're just gonna continue loading the gun and filling up the joint. Again, this is a non-sag material. Generally, for floor joints, guys prefer self-leveling material. However, if you need the performance characteristics of the Dynatred, you're going to have to use this non-sag version. So Glenn's is simply filling up the joint. Again, pretty straightforward. If you've done any type of caulking work, you'll be familiar with the Dynatred and how to apply it. Some guys will use tape to mask off the joints. Other guys, the more seasoned caulkers, don't use tape. They're very experienced and very neat and clean when installing. All right, so Glenn's gonna go through, strike off the excess sealant, and then he's gonna come back and tool it with a rounded knife. This is just one method of installing a traffic grade sealant. There are many methods. Choose whatever works for you best. Really the point is don't underfill or overfill the joint. Make sure you have your sealant backing set to the proper depth. So next, we're going to demonstrate self-leveling traffic grade sealant, right? So we just did a non-sag traffic grade sealant. Now we're going to demonstrate our NR201. This is a single component, self-leveling traffic grade sealant. This is packaged in a 30 ounce cartridge. You're going to need a special caulk gun, right? You can't use your standard caulk gun. You're going to need a supersized caulk gun like we have here for quart cartridges or 30 ounce cartridges, okay? So first and foremost, whatever size joint you're doing, you're going to want to cut your nozzle to match the joint size, all right? So we got about a half inch, five eighths, uh, wide joint here. The nozzle's cut approximately to that width, and that's going to aid in applying the sealing, keeping everything neat and clean. All right, so first and foremost, you cut the nozzle. Second, there's a foil seal in here, okay? These are moisture cure sealants. They're very moisture sensitive. These, these uh, cartridges have a foil seal to keep moisture out of the sealant. If there's any moisture permeating through this package, the material will cure up in the tube. Glenn's just going to use a screwdriver. He's going to pop that foil seal. So most single component sealants are going to have some sort of foil seal at the end of the nozzle. Just, just be aware you need to pop that seal before you get going. All right, so you'll notice this is a self-leveling, low viscosity, traffic grade sealant. This is the NR201. Similar performance attributes to the Dynatread. It's slightly softer. It takes more movement. However, 
It's self-leveling. So notice Glenn's just extruding it into the joint, and it's flowing into the joint and self-leveling. Now, Pacor also offers the pourable sealants in a two-component version as well. But by far, our NR201 single-component sealant is our most popular. Uh, this is very popular in pool deck applications, pedestrian walkways. As a matter of fact, we used to call this our pool and patio sealant. That's the NR201 traffic grade sealant, self-leveling sealant. Um, that'll do it for our traffic grade sealant demonstration. So we illustrated our two-component Dynatred polyurethane sealant, as well as a self-leveling hybrid type NR201 traffic grade joint sealant. So I thank you for your time.